Now, as peace protesters go, Brian Hoare doesn't lack commitment. He's been camping outside Parliament night and day. For... His address is Parliament Square. You can't miss him. He's the one with the anti-war placards that for more than a year have mushroomed directly opposite the Houses of Parliament. Now, more than 60 banners, pictures and signs proclaim his opposition firstly to sanctions against Iraq and more recently the threat of war. His protest may sit untidily against the Palace of Westminster, but today a judge defended his right to be there. The judge took the view Brian Hall was causing an obstruction, but it was a reasonable one. He'd never been arrested or moved on by the police. His protest was a peaceful one, and he had a right to express his opinions outside Parliament. Hello, Stuffing all this wind and trying to keep everything up forever and ever and ever. The untidy man of Westminster, eh? You try keeping this bloody tidy in the middle of these gales. I'm too bloody old and feeble for this. 50, 53, nearly 54. It's time the young uns took over, isn't it? Oh, bloody much. 557 days and nights. And I haven't had a bloody day off. Oh, I had one night off. One night. Had a bubble bath <laughs> after 10 months. I never wanted all this, you know. I came here originally very simple with that, that old grey chair there that's <laughs> it's buried underneath that lot. And on the back of it, there's a sign, there's a good sign if it's still readable. Oh, I fast, pray, protest here until bombs, killing, sanctions on Iraqs, innocent children and people are stopped. I've had some, had some food brought to me. <laughs> <laughs> Two bags of food yesterday. I wish I could have my wife's cooking. She's a good cook. You better start swimming or you sink like a stone. For the times they are changing. under license, but stag hunting and hare coursing would be banned. But is the compromise likely to pacify the pro and anti? I bet you go down there and you'll find these kiddies' signs coming up with their signs and let's go hunting. That's what their sign will be saying. What does this sign say? Don't kill this innocent child. Nothing, not a penny, not a penny to me. Where did she get that idea from?
BBC Radio 4. It's six o'clock. The news with Brian Perkins. The Iraqi Kurds being allowed to come here say they've suffered at the hands of Saddam Hussein's regime. The British government today published a report on what it says is the widespread torture and murder of thousands of opponents of the Iraqi leader. It is important that people understand the comprehensive evil which is Saddam Hussein. Ministers, of course, hope this report will convert some opponents of possible war with Iraq. But that political purpose has angered Amnesty International, one of the human rights groups quoted in the document. Yeah. Hi, Dad. Hello, son. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. Hello, darling. Hello, boy. How are you doing? What are you doing? What? Hi, Stephen. Hi, Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Hello, darling. How are you doing? Who's my youngest? No, he's not. You are my youngest children. These are. You are my very youngest child. Yeah, but we're not twins. You're not twins? Yeah, of course not. No. Who we said were not? Born a minute before me. Yeah, you were twins. No, we're not. Yeah, you're born in the same little bag. Yeah, we are twins, but we're not anymore because we don't want to be born. No, born no, you're. you're... Oh, no, no, it's called an am am amnionic sack or something special like that, some funny word. Oh, my God. Bye, 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 Okay, now. Bless you, son. Bye, kids. Seems as if I'm never going to have my family again. My wife, the most wonderful person in the world. Oh, yes, she is. She's the hero. She's bringing up seven kids on her own. Try imagining that for a job. As long as it takes. It's quite something, isn't it? And now it's about this. Your husband goes off to war to fight, to kill or be killed. And that's accepted, isn't it? That's the proper thing to do. Your husband goes off to peace. He's... Unworthy. He's not doing right by his family. We heard earlier from Berlin, which is holding what's supposed to be the world's biggest ever New Year's Eve party. But here in England, there's really nothing. I've you the plate I've seen on the news doing your thing. Probably not. Lovely to meet you. No, we are from Iraq. We are from Iraq. I like Saddam Hussein. That's your choice. Don't don't bring me into it. Thank you. Good lad. Careful. I just wanted to congratulate you, mate. You're doing a brilliant job. Thanks, mate. I get the most wicked, evil people in my face. Do you know what they're screaming out as they're going by? They're screaming out, kill all the fucking Muslims! Kill all the fucking Arabs! Kill all the fucking Iraq! No, excuse me, please. I'm telling, say what people... Just listen, son. Just listen, just listen, and you'll understand. Listen, listen, listen. No, just listen. That is what they're screaming out at me, these wicked, evil people. That is what they're saying. I thought you will be racist to Arabs. Of course, son. Are you Muslim yourself? I'm Christian. Why do I want to convert? No, no, no. All I'm saying is, <laughs> no. you see what? Islam is bad. Islam I'm is bad. Oh, son, I'm I come from Iraq. I don't like Saddam Hussein. No, I don't like Islam. No, I like George Bush. That doesn't mean you want George Bush to come and come your country. Kill many people in Iraq. We it are killing more people. Saddam Hussein killing many people in Iraq. USA and Britain are killing the children in Iraq all the time, well, all the time. Well, then why don't you go over there one and one. adopt one? You know, Pardon? Yeah. Why don't you, my darling, 
Why don't you, with your mouth, go and have a look at the murdered children by U.S. Why don't Britain? you look at the World Trade Center, which is Oh, no my darling! 3,000 people, look what I say about the World Trade Center. 3,000 people die in America, a terrible crime. Yes, I condemn it too, right I do. I condemn the death of every incident. But you know what? 6,000 plus babies and infants. Oh, well, that's not Can I finish or not? Died over there. Are you ever going to let me finish or not? No, because I'm an American. You don't want to let me finish. You don't want to hear. I Your country know. and you my country are I'm murdering sorry, the children. It's no, it's no one in the world. 6,000 plus You're babies and infants every month. The Koreans. So? Every month for the last 12 years. You don't care, and yet you want me to care only about 3,000 people in America. I've stood up for goodness and for righteousness, and so has my wife. But she's had enough in the end, you see. She's had enough, and who can blame her? She's a bloody heroine. This fucking world and this fucking country. I haven't betrayed my wife. The world has. She thinks it's all a failure. I mean, can you imagine, year after year after year of this, applying for jobs, nobody wants me. I'm too bloody different, aren't I? And that paper there makes it sound like I'm in a bloody holiday camp, if you please. Walked stuff and left them to fend for themselves. I only left them because the nation was being wiped out, because kids were being tortured. That's why I left. And do you know the worst of it? She's had fun since I've been gone. Could you imagine that? Never had fun with me. Never had bloody time for fun in my life. Never. Seven kids bringing up seven small kids. You don't have time and money for going out. But then, even then, what? Doing what? Autumn bloody towers. Piss on autumn towers. Fun? I'm not into fun, I'm into joy. Joy. Saddam Hussein has got weapons of mass destruction and he's used them. Saddam Hussein has got ties to terrorist networks. Saddam Hussein is a danger. And that's why he will be disarmed one way or the other. family in Basra, 45 children they got. And I have more than about six of them in hospital because they bleeded uranium. From Auckland, Athens, Berlin to Bangkok, people around the world have been demonstrating their opposition to military action against Iraq. Protesters of all ages took to the streets to urge the world's political leaders to settle the crisis peacefully. In London, the turnout exceeded all expectations. About one million people are thought to have taken part making it the biggest demonstration held in the city. This is what you do when you disagree with something. Look. They come equipped with heavy things to knock, look at, look at it, all smashed down. All smashed down. Probably pickaxe handles. What sort of people could do this? Peace on earth, goodwill to all, eh? Smashed to the ground. 
smashed to the ground because you disagree with it. They didn't touch Tony, did they? <laughs> they didn't touch Tony. He's intact. One man said to me once, this is, this is the greatest thing, Brian, you can do. Just being here, just standing here, day after day, night after night, drip, 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 never going away. Each time they come out of that gate, is he still there? Yes, he's still there. Is he still there? Yes, he's still there. The crisis over war with Iraq takes centre stage in the House of Commons. Tony Blair facing the biggest rebellion of his premiership. Has Tony Blair done enough to no contain the anti-war rebellion in Israel? That decision has not been made. Uh, that the coalition forces will prevail. This is not the time to falter. This is the time for this House, not just this government or indeed this Prime Minister, but for this House to give a lead, to show that we will stand up for what we know to be right, to show that we will confront the tyrannies and dictatorships and terrorists who put our way of life at risk. They will bomb Iraq. I don't care. So, tonight's main headline, MPs have voted to back the government in sending British troops to war against Iraq. The vote was passed with a majority of 263. Saddam Hussein and his sons must leave Iraq within 48 hours. Their refusal to do so will result in military conflict, commenced at a time of our choosing. Last night, a square mile in central Baghdad seemed like hell on earth. Behind their attack, but the explosion and other cruise missiles. Well, it's good. And as uh, I think we always say, there is no doubt about the outcome. Thank you very much. The results on the ground were devastating. Defeated and desperate, a trail of refugees escaped from battle scarred Basra. They pretend to be good Christian George and Christian Tony, and this is what they're doing to their neighbour, to their neighbour's kiddies. They're doing this while they pretend to be Christian. It's wicked, diabolical. Across the south, the Iraqis are giving themselves up or being captured. Most of them conscripts. They have survived the battles for Umm Qasar and Assyria. And the of Baghdad. Soon this is what regime change Baghdad. looks like. It is now 691 days and nights that I've been here saying, stop killing our kids. And you are still doing it! You are still murdering them! Are you completely deaf? Are you completely stupid? How can we do this? It's murder. Bloody murder. Success story? There's no success. I'll get peace with bombing people. But no, I won't go home. I won't go home to the fat lady sins. I won't go home till the fat lady sins. 